Hello, Leo viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading. I'm still doing private readings as well. So if you want a private reading, my email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. That is right below in the description box. And I appreciate you guys, you know, commenting, just leaving a, even just a heart comment, um, liking the video, sharing, subscribing. I'm trying to get back in the YouTube algorithm. So that kind of engagement really helps me. And if it resonates, please subscribe. Okay, so we've got the moon, the hermit, the seven of pentacles. I'm getting for this energy group, something is coming to light. And that's making you want to get out of hermit mode. So with the hermit reversed, it's, it's like you're coming out of this energy. And with the moon, the moon can be secrets, mystery, um, a lot of people see the moon as like a fogginess, like a, you know, the cloudiness, and you can see the clouds in the background here too. But I see the moon as more about intuition. And I feel to me in this context, the energy that I'm channeling from it, at least, I feel like there's some kind of truth being revealed here. Like there's something, your your third eye is opening up, your your intuition is coming in, in here, and, it, and it's making you want to move past the hermit energy. It makes you want to get out of stagnation. Seven of Pentacles is hard work, patience, perseverance, and building something with somebody. Three of Pentacles. So this could be a team. This could be collaborating with friends, with family. This could be maybe working on a relationship. Five of Cups. What is the Five of Cups doing here? Four of Swords. Knight of Cups. Ace of Cups. So I take this, I feel like for people in this energy group, there's two different messages here. For some, I feel like you thought this situation was over, like you wanted to build something with someone or you wanted to, this could be a career, this could be going back to school, this could be, um, this could be something with love where you wanted to build something with somebody. But Five of Cups, it's like you felt like that ship was sailing away. You felt like that you felt like it was a lost cause almost and you were trying to heal from this but it's like now you're kind of recognizing as you go through the healing process you're recognizing it's actually not a lost cause and there is potential to build something here and so you're opening your heart up and going forward for others i feel like you are trying to build something but you're realizing that there's certain things holding you back that you have to let go of in order to build this so if this is a career for example like let's say you're trying to um go back to college or let's say you're trying to be an entrepreneur and start your own business or you're trying to, any, you know, anything of that sort or you're trying to pursue new hobbies. I feel like you're recognizing that there's things that have been holding you back that you have to let go of. Now, this could be toxic patterns. It could be, you know, like mental patterns, ways of thinking, making sacrifices so that you have this free time to, you know, go to school or explore these hobbies. For others, I feel like you could be letting go of a person, like there might be like a toxic person or someone from your past or a situation that you're letting go of. Could be like a family member, a friend, whatever it might be. I just feel like you're letting go of the things that aren't serving you and you're going through this healing process. And when you do that, I feel like that's what, you know, allows you to move forward. And I feel like this is probably for most of you about love is that when you let go of this past energy, when you let go of be it a way of thinking or toxic people, whatever blocks there were, when you clear this up, you actually do have the potential to build something here, whether that's, you know, building something with a person or whether that's building um, like a new home or a new career, whatever it might be that you're going after. With the Four of Swords, it's like after this healing process, I feel like you're you know, there's like a mourning process that comes from making this sacrifice, whatever it is. But then with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups, it's like you have, you know, either you're going quickly towards someone or someone's coming quickly towards you. You have new love here after you make that sacrifice. Page of Wands. For some of this could be like a toxic person from the past, like an abuse, like a like a toxic ex or something that you were holding on to, or maybe like a, um, I'm trying to think of what it could be here. 
just feel like like maybe like a one-sided connection that you were hoping would come back or something some some kind of energy but for others I feel like it's like a family member or friend or just thought patterns whatever it might be for you you're just letting go of something and you are when you make that sacrifice whatever it is you are going through that healing process and I feel like that's going to kind of bring you some clarity and then you're going to be moving forward quickly with the knight of cups and the ace of cups new start you have new starts all around with love with career with everything you have justice on your side too, six of wands. Some of you are going to be receiving public recognition for the work that you've put in. So some of some of you feel unappreciated and you feel like people have kind of taken you for granted and they feel like you're going to like if you feel like unappreciated at work or taken for granted, I feel like you're going to have that justice where your work is going to um there might be some kind of shift at work or something where it's like Either in either finding a new job or if you're in the same job, it's like kind of demanding a level of respect where people are, are recognizing your work. So there could be something going on with work for some of you. Um, but the Fool is the first card of the Major Arcana. So this is all that's, you know, the Fool is it's inspiration, it's creativity, it's, it's a new start. It's, a, you know, this new beginning here. So it's good energy overall. You know, after you go through the sacrifice and this healing process, you have justice coming in. So, so it's definitely good energy here. And then we have the six of wands and the two of wands. I feel like this is also justice for something that you've worked hard for because two of wands is, that's about like long term, you know, uh, really planning for the future, planning things out. And then it's like something becomes known here. So if this is work, like I said, it's like, you know, you're, you're in a level of like a higher level, you know, you're, um, demanding that respect and that for your work, you're, you have some kind of justice, some kind of payoff here, basically something that was unfair and unbalanced is basically going to become fair and balanced. Um, if this is regarding love and it could be multiple areas of your life too, but if it, it's one of those things where you felt like invisible in love, like you felt like you weren't seen, you're going to have that justice in the sense that you are going to be seen. Like your, your feelings are going to be known. Your voice is going to be heard, that kind of thing. You have your divine, um, you know, your spirit guides, you have divine justice here leading you to this, leading you to this public recognition. And, and yeah, I think it's something you've already, you've been working hard for with the two of wands here. Two of Cups. Yeah, Two of Cups is about love. This is like soulmates, twin flames. We have the Death card, which is <clears throat> which is a transformation. Death isn't really necessarily a bad card. It's usually about an ending and a transformation. The Magician. I feel that, let me see. Actually, give me a few more car cards to clarify this Death and Magician. The Wheel. Angel de la Nude. The star, the hierophant. Sorry about that. <laughs> three of cups, three of swords, ten of swords, queen of pentacles. Okay. I had to pause for a minute just because these these cards usually there's a lot of pain with these cards and I don't know why but I'm not channeling that I'm channeling that the worst is over um I had to like pause and really like feel the energy for a minute here so I think there's a few different meanings of the cards here um I feel like for some I feel like there's a transformation that's going on because two of cups is like soulmates twin flames love with the death, it's more like a death and rebirth process. Because so we have the magician here right after. So it would depend. If I got like cards right after talking about an ending, then that would be different. But I'm getting the magician, which is all about, you know, manifesting, creating what you want. So I see this as more of like a transformation of a relationship in a positive way. It's like maybe an old way of, of being or feeling or thinking or like an old way, old ways of communicating our ending. And with the magician card, it's like you're manifesting what you want. I do feel like some of you are letting go of someone or something though, but it's, there's two different energies here. So I'm getting one person that you're going towards, like a soulmate or a twin flame type where you're transforming that connection. And I'm getting someone else that you're letting go of. Three of Cups, for some, if you were like in a third party situation, this could be the end of a third party situation. 
but third parties aren't always necessarily romantic. This could be like a third party in the sense of like, like a friend or family member or just anybody that was kind of sabotaging you or holding you back. This could even be like an employer. It could be somebody um, like a toxic family member that wanted to control you. It could be, um, you know, because Three of Cups is about, it's like a social card. It talks about, it talks about third parties, but it also talks about, you know, social gatherings, like, you know, getting out there publicly, like being social, you know what I mean? Like, and you kind of see the energy from the card too. It's like, this is a very, you know, like he or she is like out there, like being social. Um, but it, so it feels like in this context, you know, looking at how the cards are played out, because it feels like a positive thing. It feels like you become the queen or king of pentacles after this shift. So it's, it's something that you want to let go of with the three of swords or it might be. Let me confirm this. Is there is there possibly a betray? OK, I hate to say it because I hate, you know, I hate giving readings like this. I know they're painful, but this might be a situation where if you're holding on to someone or something that's like not good for you, the universe might just kind of end that for you. But it's it's going to it's ultimately going to be a good thing. It's going to be something that you want. So this is like if you have like a family member that like puts you down and tries to control you or if you have a friend, like a best friend or just a friend in general that's like, you know, always um, – like doesn't believe in you is like always talking down to you or or it's jealous of you and like always trying to sabotage you like this would be someone that you would want to let go of this wouldn't this wouldn't be you losing somebody that's like genuinely good for you this would be like I'm getting more like divine intervention like this would be you losing somebody that's like like has toxic like dark intentions for you or you know you know what I mean like like a hater someone who's jealous somebody who's sabotaging you somebody who's like overly competitive with you, like I said, could be like a work situation too for some of you. Um, that's ending, but it, it feels like a good thing. Like it feels like, like it's painful in the moment, but I honestly feel like you're going to feel like a sense of freedom. This is kind of one of those situations where you might be holding on to something that's, that's kind of karmic. Like you've already, like, you know, it's time to like put it, move past it. Like if it's like a family member or something that's like holding you back or if it's like an old job that you're just not happy in or if it's um could even be like your, you know, an old way of thinking. I'm just getting the energy of some kind of sacrifice here. But again, it's going to feel positive. Like in the moment, it's going to be it's kind of like the divine is having to intervene to take this thing out of your life because you're not. Like, if this is, like, a family member that you love, it's, like, you're not, you know, no matter how many times they screw you over, no matter how many times you see the red flags with this person, it's, like, you make excuses or you try to almost, like, gaslighting yourself. Like, you try to be patient with this person, and so it's almost like the divine is intervening, and, you know, there might be some kind of major betrayal here or something or some kind of major argument or something, something that comes to light, basically, that makes it so that you have no choice but to let go of that connection. Or if it's like an old job or something, it's it's like one of those situations where, you know, like, you know, that karmic cycle is over with that job, like, you know, that job isn't really what's meant for you long term on a soul level. But like, if you're holding on to it out of familiarity, out of, you know, comfort zone, um, basically you're going to be pushed out of your comfort zone. It seems like your spirit guides are kind of coming through because you have, they've given you every chance to step out of your comfort zone and change your life willingly. And you're kind of starting to do it, but you're, you're still holding on to your comfort zone. So now it's like a flood where you just, there's no way to hold on to that comfort zone anymore. You're, you're being pushed into the unknown. Um, I know everyone probably doesn't want to hear that, you know, you're being pushed out into the, the unfamiliar, whether you like it or not. But honestly, that's, that's just, you know, don't shoot the messenger. That's just what I'm feeling from these cards. Um, so yeah, if it's like a toxic friend or family member that like, you know, puts you down, argues with you, controls you. And again, you would know that this is toxic. This, this would not be you losing somebody that's good for you or somebody that you, you know, that there's genuine mutual love. Like, no, this would be somebody that like, like constantly just controls you, like gaslights you, manipulates you. Or like I said, if it's like an old job, if it's like a job, it's like one of those situations where you're like stressed out, like you hate going to work, but you're holding on to it because it's comfortable. And then there might be like some kind of three of swords. It's like heartbreak, betrayal, disappointment. So it might be one of those things where it's like you either get in a bad argument with this person, like a 
like you like some kind of truth comes to light with this person you know what I mean like where they 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 let you know like like cheating or betrayal or something like that or um like if it's family member I guess it could be something that they maybe like a childhood secret or something from the past that you didn't know about that's coming to the surface um, it's going to be different for everybody, but it's one of those things where you're going to see this person's true colors or you're going to see the true colors of this job or whatever it might be. And there's going to be there's you you won't be able to put the blindfold back on basically is what I'm feeling. Um, if it's a job you hate, then, then yeah, it might be like getting into some kind of fight with your boss or there's just some kind of like betrayal, like maybe you see people. Like, I feel like you're going to find out something. I feel like something's going to come to light. Um, this could even be about, like, an ex or it could be something else. It could just be, like, there's something that's, like, some kind of truth that's coming up. And it's going to hurt in the moment. But honestly, it's going to, you know, Ten of Swords is, like, it's like the darkness right before, you know, the sunrise. It's, like, you, you know rock bottom in a way but it's it's very temporary and I feel like it's going to feel very freeing because it's going to be like confirmation that like okay like it was right to leave this job or it was right to cut ties with this family member or this friend or it was right to um to you know leave this house or it was I did make the right decision um you know uh moving on from this ex or whatever it might be. It's going to be different for everybody with, but with the queen of pentacles, queen or king of pentacles, male or female, it's like you're, you're abundant though. You have the key here and you're, you know, it, it's, it's going to feel like a good thing in the moment, even if it's upsetting. You're, you're, and unfortunately, like I said, it's like your spirit guides are trying to intuitively guide you. And I feel like some of you are not really I don't want to I don't know if like not listening to your intuition is the right word but it's almost like you're still trying to hold on to like people that hurt you and put you down or you're still trying to hold on to situations like old jobs that like make you like depressed and miserable you know what I mean so the divine is basically intervening like they've they're they're kind of impatient I guess in a way um and they're basically just coming forward and, and just, you know, they're showing you the truth. They're, they're not letting you hide from this anymore, whatever this is. But I do see another energy here, though, too, where it's actually a good, like, there is love here with somebody. Two of Cups, you know, death and transformation and the magician, like, manifesting something. Because when you have the wheel, it's like you have this karmic cycle or something that's ending. But with the star, it's like it's good that whatever this is, is clearing because it, it paves the way. And this could be you needing to do healing work too. It's like, you might need to go through this. Like some of you might be avoiding the healing work. Like this might not, for those of you that this isn't like an event, I think a lot of you, this is something that's going to like be kind of disappointing for you, but it's going to just be confirmation that like, Hey, like, you know, this person is like, you know, like, manipulating and gaslighting you or you know the situation is bad for you whatever it is but for some of you I feel like this is more just like you doing the healing work you're like you're not trying to like just have fun and go out and and distract yourself anymore you're like you know what I need to feel the heartbreak I need to feel like the things from my past that I've been hiding from I need to just go through this breakdown so I can rebuild myself to what I want to be you know it's like finally doing the shadow work basically um finally just just yeah just going through that so you can be the person that you want to be um whatever it is there's a lot of truth being revealed for you right now there's a lot of clarity a lot of things coming to the surface that can no longer be hidden from um but with the wheel it's like that cycle is ending whatever it is it's actually a beautiful thing because the star is all about like hope healing you know moving forward planting seeds for what you want the hierophant is it's, it's learning, it's studying, so it could be going back to school or a new career. It could also be um, commitment. The Hierophant does, you know, symbolize a long-term commitment. Page of Pen yeah, manifesting what you want, Knight of Wands, and going forward quickly. Because for the Two of Cups, I'm seeing two different energies. Like, I feel like the person here, that the person or situation you're letting go of is separate from this person over here who is, you know, there is a love connection here, but you're it's transforming. So it's with the magician, it's like you guys are going to be interacting with each other in different ways, but it's like a positive thing, if that makes sense. It's like there's like a transformation here so that that relationship is deepening. The Emperor, the Knight of Wands, the Hangman. Let's see. Okay. 
Now this could be you or this could be your person. Take it as it resonates. But I feel like with the Emperor, I feel like you're coming into your power. Like after you do this, I feel like this Three of Swords and Ten of Swords, whatever this is, it's inevitable and you've been trying to delay it for so long. So like for some of you, if you're like in an abusive relationship where it's like your person is like yelling at you all the time. And I know you guys don't want to hear that, but it's like one of those situations where it's like you keep trying to fix it and like like all the signs are pointing like away from this person you know what I mean like they keep like gaslighting you and like putting you down whether it's a friend a lover a family member whatever but like one of those situations where it's like they're just you know constantly putting you down like they don't understand you they they don't make you feel wanted they don't make you feel loved um they don't make you know what I mean like like they just you know like you know this person like like if you listen to your body to your intuition it's like this person doesn't sit right with you on a soul level like they're like they're you know what I mean? Like you just don't feel comfortable around them. You don't feel like you can be yourself with them. They don't, you don't feel like they understand you or, you know, be it a job, whatever it is. It's something that you've been trying to avoid. It's like a tower moment that you've been trying to avoid for a while now. And so, you know, that's coming in. But I honestly feel like if you just allow this and, and again, for some, this is healing for some, this isn't actually an event for a lot of you. I think it is going to be just because it's going to be what's needed to shift the energy finally and get you out of that stagnation and get you to see clearly and let go of this. But for others, I feel like it's just healing. It might just be one of those things where it's like, if you're still upset over um, like things that happened in the past, like exes or past traumas, maybe even childhood trauma, maybe even past life trauma. It's one of those things where it's like you've been trying to avoid the three of swords and the ten of swords and like this tower energy for so long. But it's like when you just finally allow it, you're going to be amazed how quickly you come through this and how quickly you, you know, heal and plant seeds for the things that you do actually want in your life. And you become the queen or king of pentacles like you become the person that you want to be the queen or king of pentacles is like financially abundant like pentacles is a pentacles is about like finances, uh, physical world stability you know, abundance, all those things. So it's like you become like abundant, whether it's with money, with love, with multiple areas of your life, like you become this, this stable grounded person that you're trying to be. And with the page of uh, Pentacles, I'm always drawn to see this character as like something that's manifesting too, because you see how, you know, when you interpret the cards too, sometimes, you know, I just look at, I feel the energy I channel primarily, but I also look at the characters, like what direction they're looking. And I, I always am drawn to see this character as somebody who's manifesting what they want. He or she is focused on, you know, abundance, on manifesting whatever they want. Um, Knight of Wands, the Emperor, the Hanged Man, the Knight of Swords. So yeah, you're going to be amazed once you do the shadow work, how quickly you come through this and how quickly you become the Emperor or the Empress. The Emperor is all four kings combined in the deck or all four, you know, Empress is all four queens combined. So that's like the ultimate, you know, this is this is like daddy energy or like the Empress is like mommy energy. You know what I mean? Like this is like somebody who's strong, who's powerful, who's assertive, who gets what they want. Knight of Wands is fiery, passionate energy. You know, when you see this Emperor is focused on this passion, on this, this fire, this, this, um, this is like the energy your spirit guides are trying to bring you, but you're you're holding on to stagnant energy. You're keeping yourself stagnant, but your spirit guides are trying to bring you this fiery, passionate energy, this this renewed love for life, you know, and manifesting what you want, kind of just making the world your oyster here. You know, new perspectives coming in with the hanged man and knight of swords, it's you know, Knight of Swords is all about like promises, vows, like stability, honor, integrity. But I see this as somebody to look up to too. It's like this is somebody that, you know, really values themselves. They have um, like they know who they are. And so I feel like when you come through this healing process, when you finally, you know, go into your like step out of your comfort zone and, and do the healing work and, you know, keep the blindfold off. Don't don't keep putting the blindfold back on. Just keep the blindfold off and just let this inevitable, you know, tower moment here happen, you know, you become the emperor, the empress, and you, you have this renewed passion for life. If you're, this energy is here for you, like this renewed passion for life, this, you know, um, emotion, vulnerability, happiness, like these good things are here for you. They're waiting for you, but you have to, your spirit guides are, are basically holding on to this energy, trying to give this to you, but you have to allow it in. You have to open yourself up to that, to that passion, to that energy. Um, you know, you have to take the, 
the step up and basically get yourself out of stagnant energy. And then, yeah, you have this, this new perspective here too. And this new perspective leads you to, um, like this opening your mind up basically leads you to the Knight of Swords, which is, you know, you're becoming somebody that you admire, you know, becoming your true self, becoming, having this, this integrity, feeling like a whole person, you know what I mean? Like there's lots of transformation here. If you just allow it, you know, the time is, it, it's, it's the right time for it. If you, if you open up to it, if you open up to your spirit guides, if you actually listen to your intuition and, and realize that your spirit guides are on your side, they're trying to help you. They're trying to, this isn't a punishment. They're trying to clear the path. Um, so that, you know, real love and real, you know, abundance and, and a successful career and everything that you want can manifest. You know, a lot of people have this mentality too. And I used to be the same way when I was younger. Um, like even like, you know, five, six years ago, I, th I would say like before I went through like a whole psychic awakening, I was this way. So I completely understand it. And it's, it's easy to sometimes get, you know, still get stuck in that mentality and still kind of slip up. But I used to have this mentality that like, if you let go, like if you let yourself be happy, if you just like relax and you let go and you like just allow complete vulnerability that like that's when bad things happen. Because I would notice that like, whenever I would just like let go and open up, I would notice that like, you know, I might lose my job or I might lose like if I was like in a toxic relationship or a toxic friendship, like I might like have a falling out with that person. Um, like they might like show me their true colors and just like, you know, cause it's normal to get in arguments with people once in a while, like it happens. But I mean, this, this would be more of like a situation of like having like a major like argument where they're, they just like completely like, like, Oh, Hey, like I cheated on you or Hey, like I never loved you or something, you know what I mean? Like something crazy like that, that it's like really hard to come back from, you know? And so for a long time, I was like terrified to like let go because I'm like, Oh my God, like I lose all these things. Like. Like, I, you know, like, I, I'm just completely unstable when I let go, like, good things are just ripped away from me. But it, it's like, I looking back on it, though, I'm seeing like, what was happening there is basically, things that were not in alignment were being taken away to clear the path for what I was asking for. Like, let's say that I was like asking, like, let's say, like, you know, five, six years ago, or whatever. Um, like, it back when I was like in this mentality, like, let's say I was like asking for asking the universe for real love. Well, if I'm asking for real love, like for like mutual, you know, romantic love. And I am with an abusive person, or if I'm like have toxic people in my life, the universe is going to clear those people out to make room in my life for that new love for that love that I'm asking for. You know what I mean? So it's not a punishment that those things are being taken away from me. It's just the universe clearing the way for what I'm asking for to manifest, for that love to manifest. Or it's like if I was like asking for like more money, you know, and then I like get fired from my job and I'm like panicking. But like maybe that's like look at the synchronicities like that might have led me to, you know, go apply at higher paying jobs. You know what I mean? So it was like I was asking for more money and then my spirit guides are like, okay, well, she's not going to make that money, you know, working this minimum wage job. So and we got to push her out of that, you know, we got to clear that energy out for that for what she's asking for to come in. So it wasn't me being punished. It was it was me being aligned with the, the universe aligning me with and guiding me to what I was asking for. You know what I mean? Um. So so it's it's kind of one of those things where. It's like you're being aligned to, you know, if you're letting go and like trusting your spirit guides, it's like you're, you're, you're being aligned to what you're asking for. You're not being punished. You're, you know, this, the way is being cleared to, to align and manifest what you want. But, um, anyway, let's get into really quick. Let's look into this person with the two of cups and the death and the magician, Or like old friends, if you're like, hey, like I want new, I want friends that love me. Well, okay. If you have friends around you that are putting you down and making you feel bad about yourself, it's really hard to manifest new friends because you don't feel confident enough to put yourself out there. So it's like, you know, you might lose a bunch of friends when you ask for like your soul family to come in or for people that really love you and understand you to come in because the universe is like clearing that space out for that to, you know, you get the point. <laughs> but let me ask about this person with the two of cups and death and the magician, five of swords, the world, 
temperate. Yeah, if there was conflict with this person, I feel like that's coming to an end, like that cycle is ending. And that's actually kind of the same thing that the Two of Cups and the Death card and the Magician was saying, where it's like, you guys are going to be, because I'm seeing two different energies here. Now, this is, this is a toxic person or a job or a situation. And then this other energy here is somebody that you actually do love and actually do want to transform things with. And I feel like that is going to transform. Um, especially as you clear out this old energy and you align with this more, I feel like you'll be in the magician energy, which is like the magician gets whatever they want. You know, the magician manifests that. But I think it's just kind of reiterating what that was saying, where there's like a transformation, like this cycle of, you know, you being defensive or them being defensive or both of you being de defensive or miscommunication or whatever. That cycle is ending with the world card here and the temperance, which is about balance. So you have like a new way of, um, and it kind of makes sense too, because if this, if this reading is about letting go of something, like it, it's kind of like happening simultaneously, you know what I mean? Like, cause if this reading is about something that was like holding you back, basically like, like a person or a thing, or just some kind of, you know, energy that was holding you back and you're clearing it, you're doing the healing work and you're planting the seeds and you're becoming the emperor, the empress, you're stepping into your power, you're getting on board with your spirit guides, you're allowing this, you're, you're getting yourself out of stagnant energy, you're allowing this, this, there's like the energy of rebirth here that they're trying to give to you, but you have to like open up to it and allow them to give it to you, you know what I mean? But it, it's kind of like what I was saying where your spirit guides are trying to, they have all this, this passion and all this like new, um, like the fool card here, like all this like good new energy, but you have to like open up to, you know, being willing to step out of your comfort zone and, and get yourself out of that stagnation. Um, but like once you do that and once you're doing, you know, the healing or, or clearing whatever this is, it's like that's when, because I think you're going to have a new perspective, which I think is a big part of why this relationship here is going to transform, why there's that death and rebirth process and then the, the magician because it's like once you're doing that healing work or the clearing work, this relationship over here is is able to transform because you're able to, it's like you have a new perspective. You guys are able to communicate better. You're able to both be vulnerable with each other or both, both be on the same page, both communicate clearly. You know what I mean? Um, it's like, cause like your shadow self isn't getting in the way because you're doing the shadow work. So you're going to, your shadow self is like in balance, like it's balanced with your, like your, you know, physical self and like your higher self, like all those things are like in balance. So your shadow self isn't like taking over and like, you know what I mean? Like causing like this conflict with this person. Cause you've done, you know, some of the healing work and the clearing work. So you're, you, you're able to find that balance and there's no need for the conflict or for the power struggles or whatever it might be. Um, and so that's why there's this balance in this relationship. So it's like all, you know what I mean? Like this new perspective is, is allowing for this, for this balance in this relationship. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Four of Wands. Yeah, it's, it's, it looks good. Seven of Wands. It's like coming forward slowly, but like stably, you know, like in a stable sense. And this could be this person coming towards you or you to them, whatever it is. But there's like stability here. This is like long term. Um, page of Swords, Four of Wands. So why is this Seven of Wands here? Nine of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Nine of Cups reversed, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Yeah, I think there's like a period of like finding yourself, like standing your ground. And this is somebody who's like single, who's successful, who's independent. Um, but then like starting a new life here too. And I think there's going to be clarity too is like, because Nine of Cups reversed is like, like, Nine of Cups upright is like wishes being fulfilled and granted. And I think there's going to be some clarity too on like what was stopping your wishes from being granted. Like what was keeping things stagnant. There's like truth and clarity coming in. Tell me more about this connection with this person. Three of Wands, the Devil, the Nine of Wands, King of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. 
with the devil there's there's still some um there's because nine of wands is about like one final battle so there's still some stuff to work through here for sure with the devil that's like old patterns old ways of thinking so it is going to be a bit of a struggle to like get past like those old ways of thinking and not fall back into those old patterns like and being like the king or queen of swords you know what i mean like it is going to be like a bit of a process to work through this and to get out of eight of swords energy Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords, Five of Wands. Okay. Oh, damn, it's 35 minutes in. I didn't mean to make this so long. Okay, I'm going to have to wrap this up. Eight of Swords is somebody who has, like, everything right in front of them, but they don't see it because, like, traditionally, it's it's someone has eight swords around them, and they're so focused on the swords, they don't see that, like, their castle and, like, abundance and everything they want is right in front of their face and so I feel like this energy is like what you're coming out of and the nine of swords is about like anxiety it's about like like someone's like feeling trapped and like confused it's like there's like this fog and it's like two people that want to talk but like aren't talking to each other and then six of cups there's this nostalgia page of cups the empress two of pentacles Ace of Wands, King of Wands, Judge, oh shit, <laughs> Judgment, Four of Cups reversed, Queen of Swords, The Sun, okay. So you see how quickly this energy clears up. Like there was like kind of like a stagnant energy. There was like the devil energy. There was like, what else did we get? There was like nine of wands. Like seven of cups is like overthinking. It's like multiple choices being in kind of a fog. Nine of swords. It's like anxiety. It, it just feels like, like it feels like a lot of sad, heavy energy, but it also feels like energy that's like not necessary. You know what I mean? It's like, like, like anxiety, like both these people are in this energy of like, you know, anxiety, like being in a fog, like not knowing what to do next. Um, but like you and there's like nostalgia, but like you see how quickly, I think it's just kind of reiterating like the thing about like getting out of stagnant energy. You know, just kind of like living your life, like making life changes basically. And for some, this could be about your person, you know, if this isn't, you know, for some, this is like an insight into what your person's going through. But for others, this is about you. Like you should, you know, you'll probably, if this is your energy group, you'll know how it resonates. But, but you see how quickly, like you come out of this energy though. Like, cause you're in this, it's like somebody who's nostalgic, but then there's like a love message here. And this, the Empress, the two of Pentacles is like that, finding that balance, like juggling, juggling multiple things. And we have Ace of Wands, which is like a passionate new start. So I feel like if this is you that needs to do healing, I feel like, or like, you know, we were to, like what we were talking about getting out of stagnant energy. It's like everything clears up once, like, like the, the path is clear for, you know, for manifestations to come in. And it's like these two people that are like are arguing or miscommunicating there's some kind of anxiety here. There's nostalgia on both ends. But Page of Cups is often like a love message. So this could be either you sending a love message to them or them, them sending a love message to you. Um, you'll know intuitively whether you need to be the one that reaches out or whether it's them that needs to reach out. Like I feel like you'll know what to, you know, if you tune into your intuition, you'll know. But it, it, it seems like a love message is kind of what clears this energy with you know, the Empress and the Two of Pentacles here too, finding that balance, you know, juggling multiple things, but then finding that balance. And then you have that passionate new start, Ace of Wands and King of Wands. King of Wands is Leo energy too. That's, uh, you know, King of Wands is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And then you're making, someone's making a judgment call here to get out of stagnant energy. Four of Cups upright is like all about being stagnant, but like reversed, I'm taking it as like making that judgment call. Like, hey, if I want this new start, I have to get out of this stagnant energy, you know, clearing the way and moving forward. So 
So there is love here. There is a new start with love, with career, with whatever you want. Once you're willing to do this, this healing work and, and clear out past energy or clear out whatever is blocking you. And you do have this transformation taking place with this person, a new way of communicating with them, a new way of, um, you know, basically just finding that balance. But you got to get out of the stagnant energy first to, to get this, you know, moving forward. All right. Thank you guys for watching.